want to miss out on the opportunities. You don't want to miss the run up. It's notoriously hard to know if you've got a bubble, when it's going to burst. But you you got to have the sense as well that there's a lot of froth here. How do you sort all that out? You know, uh, actually owning the indexes, just the pure indexes, you've performed very, very well based on the strength of all of this narrative. Um, and, and that's a safe way for diversification. Three years ago, I thought this whole uh, AI thing was hype. <laughs> I don't believe that anymore. Every single sector of the economy, they're not developing their own AI. They're leasing capacity from guys like AWS and Amazon. You saw those numbers. Right. For a stock that size to go up 12% on one print, that's unheard of. It may be the first time in history. So the way I look at it is because every sector is using it with proven results of margin enhancement, and productivity enhancement, which is why the indexes are at their all-time highs. There's the promise of that. And there's yet even more acceleration coming. For the first time recently in Singapore, I saw the crashing of AI with crypto digital payment systems, not speculating price of Bitcoin. Forget that. Yeah. I'm talking about we just passed the Genius Act on, on this amazing product that backs the U.S. Treasury mm. that will become a world standard for paying for things in small amounts, millions and billions of transactions per minute worldwide. We don't have the tech yet on the blockchain to do it, but this is the first time in 12 years where I'm going to see blockchain become part of the real narrative of a digital payment, nothing to do with hyping crypto, speculative pricing. That's also coming into this story of what's going on with AI. Mm. So I don't know, guys. I mean, you know, if you sell now, you're just trying to time the market. And I, I believe you're right. There'll be a correction. But yeah. so what? The growth will continue.